this is going to be an awkward conversation. Bracken. Yo, what's this? I don't know, it's just here. The YouTube box? Looks like it. Oh, it's hot in there. Oh. You wanna zip this real quick, bro? Yeah, I got you. Oh. It's hot in there. Good morning, Fox fam. Welcome back to another vlog. We are back. It is February 1st, guys. It is February 1st. How you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <I don't> <laughs> Did you see that? What's up, bro? What's up? Guys, we got Mateo over here. He's streaming for SSG in the corner. We are back on the normal upload grind. Guys, we are going to be uploading every other day. That is the official schedule, okay? We've been on every other day, then we did daily, then we were back to every other day. For the beginning of the year, I took a little break. I traveled around the entire month of January. I went to Utah to work on Space Station Gaming. I went to Arizona to work on a few secret projects and go see some friends and go snowboarding. I just went to Australia. I've been to LA countless amounts of times this month. We've just been making a lot of moves. So I thought, what better way to start today's video than, well, with a very big box from YouTube. What do you think's in here? I don't know, man. Like that's it a big that's like, a big box. YouTube wouldn't send you like a diamond play button before. You I don't I mean I don't think right? so. There's no better way to start the new season. Is this season three? Should we call it season three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season three? Season no three. better way to start season three than with a giant package from the platform itself. You guys are literally watching this video right now on YouTube and they sent me a gift and I wanna open it up for you guys. There's a lot of really big things I need to talk to you guys about, like some secrets I've been keeping about the GTR and why it hasn't been in the videos and why, well, to be honest, it's not allowed on the road, which is kind of an awkward conversation. We're gonna get to that, but I wanna see what's in the box. All right, take a guess. What could YouTube send you? Like, seriously. Yeah, what's in the box? What do you guys think for this real? could be? What? in the world. Congrats. Congratulations on an incredible year. Here's to many more. This is a suitcase. What? <laughs> Wait, it says, hey there, each video upload, each comment you love, and each person that clicks the red subscribe button all play a part, big and small, in this place we share called YouTube. Wow. And it has a really awesome note, and at the very end, it says, happy holidays, Tanner, looking forward to a great 2019 from Gabe and the YouTube family. So they must have been seeing the tweets and the break from YouTube, bro. They're watching. They, they must have been seeing the break. They wanted more. So, whoa, it's custom. Yo, check this out. Oh, shoot. It's got Tanner Fox on it. It's got, it's got the YouTube play button. Look at that. The tag. My own YouTube tag with the profile picture bro, and everything. Wait a second, it's got chargers on it. I think no it was a charger. It's got a combination lock. I don't oh. know what that is. Well, that's Check fancy. Holy cow. Okay, what better way to start today's video? Look at this. I just got a custom YouTube suitcase from YouTube themselves. I haven't seen anybody else get a custom YouTube suitcase. I haven't suitcase. either. I haven't either. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't think we get to start today's video with a better thing. All right, Mateo. Keep up the good work. Peace. This is coming in a couple of days. Oh crap. I've been waiting to talk about this. I haven't talked about it because I haven't been filming vlogs. Um, you guys might recognize this key from Germany. Ooh, I'm so excited. This comes to the United States tomorrow, I think. February 1st, February 2nd. Guys, my Porsche arrives in the US tomorrow. I didn't even realize that. By the time this video is uploaded, awkward conversation. We are back on an upload schedule. We are going to be uploading videos every other day at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button, join the Fox fam for today's video. For season three, we're back. And I am going to be answering one of the most asked questions and something that I have been hiding from you guys for the past like two months, 
I've been super embarrassed about it. I've been trying to ignore it because it hurts me inside and it's something, it's, it's not fun. And that being Guaxilla. Ah! Ah! I've been getting a lot of questions asking where the GTR has been. If you guys want an entire Guaxilla update, right now um, is time for just that. So the truth, why have I not been driving the GTR on the road for the past two months? Great question! Why don't you tell us, Kylie? Kylie has an exhaust. That's the reason, okay? There, I said it! There, I said it! Do you have a exhaust? All right, Kylie! My car has an exhaust. So now let me explain in depth a little bit. Now you're curious, what do you mean? So I'm just gonna hop right into this. This is the story of why Guaxilla is no longer street legal, allowed on the road, until further notice. About two months ago, you guys might have actually seen the vlog of this. I put the clips in the vlog, but I never really explained what actually happened because I was really embarrassed and I kind of wanted to figure out the situation first, but now the situation's looking a whole lot better. So let me, let me explain now. A couple weeks ago, I was on my way to go get coffee. It was a normal day. It was about 8 a.m., minding my own business, driving the speed limit. I promise, I promise, I'm being serious this time. Out of nowhere, I saw, I passed a cop, I noticed he looked at me, and he flipped a U-turn and came and pulled me over. As always, super respectful. I didn't really know what was going on. He basically just asked me, hey, do you have a modified exhaust? Which is like the loud thing, it makes your car really loud. And I just said, yeah, it's an aftermarket exhaust. And he gave me a ticket for my exhaust. If you guys didn't know, if you're not from California, there's this new law, and basically the law is that no car is allowed to have a modified exhaust. See this? It's kind of hot because I just turned the car on. This is the exhaust. This is also the exhaust. The new law states that you're not allowed to have a modified exhaust on your car if it's over a certain sound level. He basically gave me a ticket. It was a super casual pullover. I didn't even really realize the actual issue until the next day. I found out that this ticket means that I'm not allowed to drive my car on public roads or on any roads, well, public roads, which is all of them until I get my exhaust fixed or I pay the fine, which is about a thousand dollar fine. So I've been kind of embarrassed because I have to wait for my court date. I don't want to drive the car on the road because I've spent 11 months building this car and it means like the world to me. You guys know, I don't have to explain it to you. If I drive it, I could potentially get it taken away from me and that's the last thing I would want. Okay, so this brings me to the second half of my story. So that brings me to my second part of the story, not bringing Guaxilla out in the past two months. So this is like a second part of the really, really funny story. And I actually filmed this before I went to Australia. My car's not allowed on the public road. So how am I going to drive it? Right? I've only taken the GTR out maybe one or two times since this kind of happened. It's kind of a cool story. So starts at Starbucks. I'm getting coffee. I walk out. I end up running into a police officer in Temecula. That is right, a cop. I end up getting in this conversation. He starts explaining to me that he has a built Camaro, like a wide body, supercharged, this crazy, crazy, crazy built car. Basically the same thing as Guaxilla, just instead of like a Japanese car, it's an American car. So it's like a really clean build. I told him about my problem. I was like, man, I'd love to go on a drive with you. He's seen my car on the internet. I've seen his car on the internet, but my car, it's having some problems. Uh, I'm not allowed to take it on the road. You know what he tells me? You know what he tells me? You know what he says? Do you know what he says to me? Oh man, let's go out for a drive. There's a car meet tomorrow. Let's just go for a little cruise. You come with me. Everything should be good. Is this full vlogging? Oh no. What you doing, Sir, do, you know, do you know how fast you were just- What are you doing, man? Yeah. Do you know how fast you were just yes, going? Yes, 120 miles an hour. No. Yeah. Bro, Are you vlogging? Kid, this kid literally just- <laughs> Guys, this, this is- hold This on. kid shows up to my house every day and just pulls this yucky- car. Hey, get out of here. All right, all right, all right. So that's- You guys can expect a lot of that coming this, uh, this new vlog. You guys can see the smile on my face. I'm so excited. Everyone in the house is making content again. That's Jay. He's making, he's making a video. That's, this is a new thing. Anyways, the cop tells me that we can all go on a drive together the next day. If he comes with me, everything should be cool. That's exactly what we did. I brought the camera and it made me so happy because I hadn't driven my car on the street in like a couple weeks. So enjoy footage of Guaxilla on the road. Check this thing out. I love it. Oh, I love it. oh my God. We're gonna go on a cruise.
and this is where she ends, right here in the driveway. That's the official update. I've been waiting so long to talk about this because I've honestly been kind of embarrassed. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought happened to Guaxilla and also what you think is going to happen to Guaxilla. Look at this, on cue. What's up? What are you doing here, man? I got some stuff for you, you man. You got some stuff for me? So... Can't show them yet, I gotta oh, show them okay, later, I gotta okay. show them later. Holy crap, new products, new products. Yeah, you go take this. Oh, take, don't show them what it is, don't show them what it is. Oh, yeah, don't look at it. Don't show them. They're so new. Okay, cool. You know when you just walk in your office and your, your copyright frame is just off? Terrible. Now, to end off today's video, I have a few products that I want to show you guys for our Valentine's Day T Fox brand items. You call them items? I items. Call them items. Gifts. You, they could be gifts. Ooh. They could really be anything. Make a little bit more room here. I have three items that I want to show you guys. You know that we just dropped the Beanie Boy line, but Valentine's Day is in only two weeks, and you guys know I'm an expert in the relationship game. You know, I, I thought, what are the best three gifts that you could get someone for Valentine's Day? So the first one being a T Fox brand teddy bear. You guys know that we released this um, probably like two years ago. We made a teddy bear. It had a different sweater, but the thing about this teddy bear is that every single one you guys order only while supplies last. I am going to be personally foot recording in each teddy bear that you guys order. So while you check out, you can. Add a little tiny note that you want me to say. That is right. I like to do things that are personable. You guys know we've done like the Guaxilla um, wrap in picture frames. I wanted to do something similar, but for Valentine's Day. So go order a teddy bear, comment a little thing you want me to say, and then I am going to personally, this is Jessica inside of this one because I haven't done it yet. So it says, I love you, sweetie. I don't know if the mic can pick that up, but I'm gonna record voices. So go over to T Fox brand, order your girlfriend, your mom, your giraffe, anything you want, a teddy bear, and then they're gonna get a custom voice message by myself just in time for Valentine's Day. So hit the link in the description. Second item, one of my personal favorite that I'm gonna be keeping at my desk here. We have this <laughs> LED cinematic light box. So it comes like this. You can make it say whatever you want. Let me open it up. It's an LED box, just like, oh no. That might have just oh, sent no. those flying. We oh, got them. No. We oh, got them. No. So look, it comes with an envelope with a bunch of different letters. This one already says, I love T Fox brand. It got a little messed up right there. So you guys can order this and you can customize it with whatever kind of letters you want. Counting down days for something. You can write a date on it, maybe for when your girlfriend's birthday is, your dog's wedding. You can put anything you want on it and basically look at it every day. And then what you'll do is, if you'll come with me, plug the cord in. Crazy, I know. Plug the cord in. And just like that, oh, wow. it looks like a little movie thing. That's cool. It looks like when you when you go to like an old theater and it says what movie's playing, but Ooh. you can put whatever you want on it. That's the coolest part. You get this giant thing of all these different letters. It has these little faces, like little animals. It's even got emojis on it. Um, so we That's are selling cool. these on T Fox brand right now. Hit the link in the description and we have one more item to show you guys. Last but not least, you saw the teddy bear, you saw the cinematic light box, and third but not best this is the best we're gonna not talk about that sentence we partnered up with a company called sugar fina this is the first time i've ever done anything in the food realm for t fox brand so i'm really excited to do this valentine's day is coming up girls like sugar guys like sugar everyone likes candy on valentine's day am i right so we are selling these boxes on the website right now these are super limited they come with three different boxes of candy you can get different options this one has like little lip candies so you know what i'm trying you trying to get some lips we got these nice little popping candy Yo, these really? have pop rocks in them no way, no way. dude eat one it's easy. i bite in half because we got really Oh, dang. It pops. <laughs> Those are cool. These chocolates have Pop Rocks in them. And then this one has, these are like little, little can, it's like popping in my mouth still. <laughs> That's weird. I've never had Pop Rocks in candy. So you get three different types of candy in the box. Now you guys can order yourself a T Fox brand teddy bear with a custom voice message for myself. This Sugar Fina box with three different types of really, really cool candies. By the way, nothing in this box has nuts. I made sure of that. So anyone freaking out about that, just letting you know. Of course, last but not least, get the cinematic light box and like put a date on it. Motivate yourself every day before you wake up. That's something I love. I personally like to read things in front of me. It's just a way easier way of checking things off in your head and kind of motivating yourself. So you can really put whatever you want on this box. That is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I am so excited to be back on YouTube. We're gonna be posting every other day at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and we're about to get 
pretty rambunctious with the videos. I got a lot of cool ideas. So without further ado, peace out. Let's roll the fuck. Subscribe to Tanner Fox. Leave a like. Buy the hottest mission in the game. Roll the app. Cause the she know I bled too You was like a puppy